morning traders and welcome to the North American wrap and the Asian preview from Privateer FX. Let's jump right into the charts today. Uh, actually kind of an interesting day in the currency space. Um, North America, get the Bitcoin chart here. Take a look at this weekly Bitcoin chart. This is about as parabolic a chart I've ever seen. As you can see what it's done this year, you know, eight, nine hundred dollars in the beginning of January up to just shy of 10,000. It got up to 9,800 um, today. The high was 97.95. Looks like we're going to 10,000 this week. It'll be interesting to see how Bitcoin reacts to uh, the futures that will be listed on the CME in December when there'll be a, a little bit more of a two-way trade. Um, I think that's when things get interesting. It, it, it does trade well technically, and every technician out there is, has been charting it now for you know the entire year. Um, it's, you know it's still volatile. It still has 10% plus ranges. Uh, it, it's definitely a good trading vehicle. There's just not a lot of liquidity uh, to trade it in a more institutional manner. So something to keep an eye on, and we'll be we'll we'll start tracking this more closely. Jumping over to the currencies, let's take a look at some of the reversals today. Uh, New York, uh, New York hours. We the dollar was pretty heavy on the open of New York trading, and uh, and then just before options expiration, it looked like a big dollar buy program came in, and and euro came off of. Uh, let's get down to the hourly charts here. Uh, you can take take a look at uh, take a look at what Euro Dollar did. This is right here before, uh, right leading up to the options expiry, where we went up and touched this 11960 area, and then you can see all these red bars. It just kind of was grinding lower throughout the New York session. There was no news, nothing, nothing really came out on the the tax, the Senate tax. Uh, vote that's uh, they're hoping to uh, to have the vote on uh, we're hearing Thursday or Friday this week. No, no real news. <clears throat> Dollar yen, on the other hand, stayed heavy throughout the session. I mean, it was it was quite it was fairly choppy, but we did close after going up to the highs of uh, one eleven sixty five seventy during Asia, which was this old breakdown. Um, we gave back, uh, it gave back all these, th this little uptrend that we had from last week after Thanksgiving and uh, got down to a low of 110.85 and then didn't do much the rest of the session. Um, but you can see the uh, dollar yen is now <clears throat> closing right around this, this big Fibonacci level that we've been looking for. Sorry, I got a lot of lines here, but this 111.05 area, we closed pretty much right on it today. The next support in dollar yen is way down at 110.16, and uh, there's some, there's also some old, uh, some old highs here at 110.65.70. Then once we broke, we uh, took out this next leg all the way up to the to the highs, the 114 handle. The dollar yen stayed under pressure. There was some. Uh, Headlines, North Korean headlines about uh, North Korea's preparing ballistic missile testing, and that kept dollar yen pretty soft. It actually turned into more of a cross yen trade. Take a look at uh, the euro yen chart here. Had a pretty big down day and closed right near lows of the day. As far as reversals, there were, <laughs> there were quite a few today. Um, here's the dollar yen. We did make a new high from Friday and close below Friday's low. So that's an outside reversal lower day. We did close about 20 points off the lows, but still this, this dollar yen looks like it's got more wood to chop on the 110 handle. Um, uh, dollar peso had a, a kind of a doji type day here. Um, that was under a lot of selling pressure. Dollar yen in general was very soft. Uh, strongest currency of the day against pretty much everything was Kiwi and the Kiwi Crosses. Kiwi CAD was the strongest pair of the day. 
here's a Kiwi outside reversal higher day. Kiwi, nothing other than positioning. Still, market's still very short this. Um, take a look at the Kiwi CAD chart. That had a really big outside reversal day higher. Closed right near the highs of the day. Oil was under pressure most of the day. Uh, we do have the OPEC uh, and uh, the OPEC uh, meeting on Thursday. So the market's going to, oil market's very sensitive to to that and it looks like looks like the uh, Canadian dollar let's take a look here at this chart the outside reversal day higher in dollar CAD uh, it's actually pretty highly correlated with oil today uh, Aussie yen we are right on some old these daily lows right here at uh, 84.50 we close kind of just under this so Pay attention here. This could be a combination of more yen strength or potential Aussie weakness. Here's the Aussie dollar chart. Outside reversal day lower in Aussie dollar as well. So, like I said, there are definitely some outside days for a, you know what's generally a quiet Monday. Um, and some of this yen strength, I think, is attributed to the BOJ talking about tweaking the yield could yield curve control and that's what sent dollar yen lower um, you know during the European session we've got this uh, tax bill out of the Senate uh, vote they're trying to get this vote done this week the senators to watch are Susan Collins Jeff Flake John McCain Lisa Murkowski and Bob Corker the uh, Republicans can only afford two of these senators to vote against otherwise this uh, tax bill is in trouble um, as far as data coming up here um, in the next uh, kind of the next 12 hours or so we, we have the Bank of England financial stability report uh, right on the European open on the London open and Carney will be speaking as well and uh, nothing really out in the U.S. other than uh, we have Dudley speaking, um, the Fed chair designate uh, Powell will be in front of the uh, committee, uh, he's the next, you know, the next Fed chair. So his, uh, I guess his uh, meeting tomorrow with the, uh, with Congress will be, will be interesting and see if he kind of toes the line of, uh, predecessor yelling or if he says anything out of the ordinary so definitely uh, definitely listen up for, uh, for Powell and then we have Fed's Fed's Harker speaking we have the Bank of Canada financial system review and Polaz is speaking out of Canada and uh, Treasury Secretary Mnuchin speaks in the uh, later afternoon New York and then uh, tomorrow on the uh, Asian in the Asian morning we have RBN Z Governor Spencer speaking. So, you know, a lot of a uh, lot, lot of speakers. Not a lot of data. Um, we'll be looking out for some of the more important data later in the week with the PCE Canadian Jobs Report on Friday. And um, you know, not expecting a whole lot here for the uh, for the Asian session. So, good luck trading today, and we will speak to you on the. Uh, European Open. All the best. Cheers.